Hello YouTube! Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Many of you probably know who I am, but for those of you who are new, I am Banded Wendy. And I have a channel here on YouTube, Banded Wendy. I am 15 months post-op, out from the lap band procedure, and I've lost 94 pounds as of today. So uh, I am Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. And we've got a, a ton of new vloggers joining the crew. So I've asked everyone to introduce themselves. Um, so uh, tomorrow we have a new vlogger. Her name is Becca Gets Banded, and she's our new Wednesday vlogger. And then we're going to have some new exciting people coming in on Fridays and also Saturday. So I'm going to ask you to tune in uh, so you can get to know them like you know me. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So uh, today's topic is... Scale habits. What are yours? And you know, I'm a big fan. I want to thank you all for sending us messages and video responses. would love to hear about your scale habits too. I love Janie's video from yesterday. She's so wise. Um, so write the questions down. What are your scale habits? Do you weigh yourself regularly? Daily? Weekly? Monthly? Do you choose not to use the scale and just use the way your clothes fit? to let you know how you're losing, gaining, or maintaining? Why do you think your scale habit works best for you? Well, I am a daily wearer. That's right, daily wearer. And uh, the first thing I do in the morning before I take a sip of water is go straight to the bathroom, go to the bathroom if necessary, and then I look in the mirror. And I look in the mirror as I'm getting undressed. And I have a conversation with myself. Um, I accept who I am in that mirror. I notice the physical changes that are occurring in my body. I will say things to myself like, you're getting there. Not too bad, Wendy. Keep doing it. Not too bad. And you're doing it, you know? And so, and there's a smile involved with that. Because this journey is about loving who we are. Not necessarily who we want to become, but who we are. So I then stand on the scale. I get on that scale and I look at it and sometimes if I, and I stand off of it. And sometimes if I don't believe it, I'll stand back up on it, look at it again, and then I'll get off of it. And at that point, I look back in the mirror and there's an expression on my face and I see that expression. Sometimes, like, way to go, yeah, you did it. And other times like, hmm, all right, what's not working there? So, and then I hop in the shower, right? I don't put any more thought into it. Um, I do use the scale. I have one official weigh-in day. So even though I'm a daily weigher, and there are days where I'll weigh in multiple times at 4.45 in the morning when I wake up and at 7 o'clock at night when I um, take my clothes off after the gym to take a shower. So that doesn't happen every day, but pretty close. Um, and... But my official weigh-in is on Monday, so the number on that scale only matters to me and is recorded, written down somewhere, that I track one day a week. Because that's what matters, right? I'm, I'm practicing progress, not perfection, and the in-betweens, when I look at that scale, I'm using it as a tool. I'm using it as a tool in, in a research project, right? Did the scale change up or down or stay the same based on how much water I drank? What my calorie intake was? If I hit my protein mark for the day before? What was my exercise? How much did I exercise? What exercise did I do? Did I not exercise? Have I gone number two? You know, um, so it's more of a research tool. I consider the scale to be my friend. I do not let the scale affect or determine how I feel physically about myself or mentally about myself. Now that one day a week when it matters, um, I definitely start thinking about the, the rules for me, weight loss surgery rules, and what I did right and where I may have had some weaknesses. Because at the end of the day, I want that scale to shift one week later. And if I'm not accountable with the scale changing, then I'm not gonna be accountable to myself and with those rules. So that's what I do. Um, some days I even take a picture of the scale. 
Um, I have the picture on my camera that I'm using right now. When I hit 199, I still have that picture. So there's some milestone scale dates. Uh, and I can guarantee you when I get to that goal weight, I'll be taking a picture. Um, why does it work for me? Because I use it as a tool. I'm not afraid of the scale. Um, and my goal here is to lose weight. And if I'm not weighing myself, then I don't know if I'm losing weight. Now, I talked to my boyfriend about this. Seven years post-op gastric bypass. He had a point, he weighed almost 500 pounds. So any of you who have been that size, you know that you can't use a home scale, right? Uh, and so his first X amount of time after gastric bypass surgery, he couldn't even weigh himself. He had to go to a special place to stand on a scale uh, to get weighed. So seven years post-op, uh, when I met him three years ago, a little over three years ago, he never weighed himself. When he got to his goal weight, he went out and bought very expensive designer jeans that he couldn't fit into in his higher weight. And those are his gauge. If his, you know, extra large t-shirt starts to feel too tight, or his 34, 36, I'm not sure right now, uh, jeans uh, start to feel too tight, he needs to change things up. Uh, and actually, he's lost 20 pounds this year. We, he stood on the scale three times in the last three years prior to January. Uh, so he went years really without seeing his weight, just using his clothes. So he really is a good advisor to me about not getting too hooked in to what that scale says. Um, and he's promised me when I get to my goal weight, he's buying me a pair of those designer jeans um, with hope that maybe I'll just wear the jeans and use that as my gauge. So the other thing that I'll mention is I travel a lot. And being a daily wearer, I remove barriers. Not a lot of hotels have scales in them. Or if they do, they have them in the um, fitness area. And you can't just go down there butt naked in the morning in the fitness area and use the scale. So I actually bought a scale. We ship pallets back and forth to various trade shows in the cities I go to. And that scale rides on that pallet. And I take the scale off the pallet and back to my hotel room and use it for the duration of the show. And then I send it back on the pallet and it comes back to my LA office. So. How would that change when I get to maintenance? I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm curious to see what all you guys are doing, and maybe that'll give me um, some uh, better ideas of how I'll move forward into maintenance and my relationship with the scale. So thanks for watching. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, tell a friend, and uh, stay tuned because we've got some really great new vloggers joining the channel. Take care. Bye.